guys, it's Sam. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me skincare and makeup. I have some new products from DHC that I recently got sent. They did partner up with me for this video and they sent me out a bunch of products. Um, I filled out like a little skin survey and they sent products out to me that they thought would be the best fit for my skin. I have oily skin, breakouts, like super big cystic acne breakouts when I do. I currently have one right here. Mm. Gertrude. I have pigmentation, melasma, I have big pores, I have uneven texture. My skin is quite tricky, it's a bit of a pain. They sent me out a nice variety of skincare products to try. So basically today, I'm just gonna be doing a get ready with me. So I'm gonna be trying all of these products out. There's cleansing oils, soaps, moisturizers, toners, and then there's a couple of makeup products from DHC as well. So I will be featuring those in a kind of like makeup get ready with me also. So you'll just be seeing this full entire look that I did for makeup and then you'll be getting to see me using the skincare products as a kind of like morning routine as well so these are all new to me it's kind of like a first impressions get ready with me so as I go I kind of share my thoughts and kind of like let you guys know what I think about the products as I'm using them as always everything will be linked down below so if there's something that you see from DHC in this video that you're like hmm, that looks good I feel like I need that in my life I will link it down below for you guys so you guys can easily shop those and check them out I know one of the big sets that I show you in the actual skincare routine in the next clip is on sale currently, or at least it was when I checked yesterday. So hopefully by the time I get this video up, it will still be on sale. Um, and I think it was under a hundred bucks for the entire set. And these are full size products. And of course you can also shop any of the other products from DHC, which I will also leave in the description box below as well. I hope you guys enjoy Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you found this helpful and let me know down below which product sounded the most intriguing to you? Comment down below, let me know. Um, I'll see you guys very soon. Let's go ahead and get into the get ready with me. Enjoy, bye. Okay, you're, you're gonna have to excuse the echo in here. It has really tall ceilings in this bathroom, so it's gonna be a bit echoey. So we're gonna be trying out the DHC Olive Oil Essentials Set. It's a deep cleansing oil, a mild soap, a mild lotion, and then an olive virgin oil. So the very first thing is deep cleansing oil. And this is like basically a makeup removing oil. So it says to dispense two to three pumps into dry hands, then gently massage onto dry face. I do have a problem though with um, oils on my eyes because my eyes are so sensitive and they, they water. So I am just gonna go ahead and remove my eye makeup real quick. It says that you can, I'm pretty sure you can use these on your eyes. It's just for me, I've noticed that whenever I do use oily products on my eyes, it tends to make my eyes water all day. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this oil and just pump it. So it says to take two. So I'm just gonna go ahead and massage that into the skin. It smells really nice, like really herbally, but it's not super strong to where you feel like it's like overwhelming. And then I'm gonna take one more pump for the neck because I always bring my foundation down my neck as well. It's got a nice slip to it. It doesn't feel too thick. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get my flannel wet with some warm water and then just wipe all of that away and then we will cleanse with the mild soap. So now I'm just like wiping it away and you can see all of the makeup that comes off. I actually did a really great job. Like you can see how clean my skin looks just from that cleanser or the cleansing oil. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the DHC Mild Soap. This is a facial cleanser. So even though it is a bar soap, it's made specifically for your face. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this to the side. It just says to kind of get your hands wet and kind of get a lather and then rub it on your face. It's a really silky lather, like super smooth. It doesn't feel drying at all. And you can see how it's just kind of like getting into kind of like a creamy kind of foam. So it really does feel like you're like really getting in there and getting nice and clean. It does have a bit of a slip to it. It must have some kind of like moisturizer in it or something like that because I feel like you really do have to kind of wipe it off quite well to remove all of the traces of the soap. So I'm probably gonna do one more rinse. I feel like if you are someone with like super sensitive skin, 
you would really like that because nothing burns or stings. DHC Mild Lotion Natural Facial Toner. That's what comes in the set that I showed you. Um, this one says, after washing face and patting dry, apply toner to skin with hands or DHC Silky Cotton. And it says to avoid contact with eyes. But then I have another one that I think is more specifically for like my skin type. This one is the DHC Arcerola Lotion. I hope I said that right. Um, this says encourage firmness and an even skin tone with this alcohol-free toner featuring vitamin C rich Arcerola berry. Perfect for oily types and for promoting a brighter, more radiant complexion. So I think what I'm gonna do is do this one first because I do just wanna test it. Ooh, that's a glass bottle. I'll really be careful with that. So I'm just gonna take some cotton, gently wipe that all over my face. And I'm assuming I would probably end up using the pink one for my skin because I am oily and I need like help with brightening because my skin has so much, you know, pigmentation. So I might just end up using this one for like my neck. But look, that's still taking some makeup off. I never use toners actually. That one does not sting, burn, you can't feel anything. It feels like you're just rubbing water on your face. Now we're gonna try the pink one that I showed you that's more for oily skin. I love the color of this. Um, I think the packaging's really cute. This one is plastic. So I can already feel like this has definitely not harsher ingredients, but something that's going to do something more than just, like the other one felt like water. I didn't feel like there was anything major in it. Whereas this one still is quite gentle, but it does feel like I can tell that it's gonna do something to my skin, but nothing uncomfortable. It just feels like, it doesn't feel like water. They both feel very hydrating. They don't feel stripping at all. They feel hydrated. So, so far both of those are really nice. So next I have the DHC Spot Therapy Acne Treatment. Now you guys know that I use a pretty intense acne treatment. I'm not sure what the active ingredient is on this one. Oh, sulfur, sulfur 3%. I'm basically just gonna put it on the specific little bits that I have. I've just been terrible lately since we've been moving. I stay up super late, like unpacking and working, and then I just like pass out with my makeup on and I was so good for such a long time. And then I just like pooped out at the end of the night and I just am like, Meh. and then I'm like, oh, why did I do that? So. I do have a couple of little friends hanging out here. Plus I feel like the drive was making my skin really not very happy as well. Just like in general, it's just been a lot going on. Plus stress, it's just, my skin is just not a happy friend. That doesn't burn, doesn't feel bad or anything. I just basically put that on the areas that I break out. So then I have two different moisturizers. This comes in the set. This is the DHC Olive Oil Virgin Oil, or sorry, I'm sorry. Olive Virgin Oil Facial Moisturizer. So this is made from olive oil. It says to just do one to two drops in between your palms. We're just gonna rub it in and then I'm just gonna basically press that into my skin. It says you can also use this onto your body as well. I am seeing quite a dewiness to this. So I'm just gonna take that all down my decollete. It does definitely give you a nice glow. Like you can see that it's like definitely giving me a bit of a sheen to the skin. Again, that has no scent, feels really gentle. So if you are someone with really sensitive skin, that one might work for you because it doesn't feel like a cream. It has no scent. There's nothing to bother or irritate your skin. It just feels like basically you're putting olive oil on your face. Um, and I do have like a really pretty glow to my skin. And then the last product we're gonna try out is the DHC Platinum Silver Nano Colloid Cream. This is supposed to protect precious youth and fight early signs of aging with this elegant cream rich in antioxidants and nourishing botanicals. Packaging is really cool, I like that. So it's quite a thin cream actually. I thought it was gonna be thicker, but it almost feels like a gel, kind of like lotion cream. Quite a slippery kind of like silky texture. Again, it's not bothering my skin. It feels really gentle. 
doesn't feel in any way like it's gonna burn or irritate skin if you are sensitive. And I'm just patting that into the skin. And this one doesn't, it doesn't have a scent. I don't know if I said that already. It absorbs really quickly, which I like. I feel like I would probably prefer this one over the olive oil one just because I have oily skin and I feel like this one just it feels more like a cream that I would use, like it absorbs really fast. And then I, I don't feel so like dewy. But again, you still have like a really nice kind of hydrated glow. Like my skin feels really good. I feel like this one is absorbing really nicely. Um, so that's all the skincare that I got. I have a couple more items that I'm gonna just use. I'm just gonna do a full on get ready with me today. Um, I have a makeup primer and I think I have an eyeliner, which oh, I never wear eyeliner, do I? but maybe I'll give it a go for you guys. So there's my skincare done. That's all I'm gonna to use today just because I'm trying out complete new products. And um, so far, so good. I feel like I would definitely use this. This I could absolutely add into my routine. The, prime, or the toners as well. I feel like these are something that I would definitely, because I don't have a toner currently. I don't use one at all. And I feel like this one specifically, I'd probably use for the face. And then this one, I'd probably end up just using for the neck and kind of decollete area. I think I might end up using the olive virgin oil for my kind of like this area like from here down um, because i do get quite dry over here and i feel like this was really nice and hydrating how glowy my chest looks that looks really nice but then i feel like this would be something that i would definitely use as a moisturizer morning or night it's nice because it's not super thick um, it absorbs into the skin really well, but it feels like nice and hydrating. So, so, oh, and then this, I don't know. I mean, that's one of those things that you just have to like try and, and see. So far, so good. Um, we'll go ahead and get my makeup done. I feel like if you are someone who has that sensitive skin, who does get stingy, burny with products that are like quite highly scented or um, just quite strong, this would definitely be a brand that you would wanna try because everything felt basically as if I was putting water on, like nothing was, too harsh or too intense at all in the sense where either nothing at all or very very like soft and kind of herbally but very subtle okay so the first product is the dhc velvet skin coat this is a makeup primer it says it's a velvety soft makeup primer it is stunning stunningly effective at instantly minimizing the appearance of fine lines and pores so that you look flawless and it just comes in a little tube like this so it is clear and I feel like it's gonna have that kind of like slippery texture. Oh yeah. It definitely has that pore filling, like super slippery, like blurry smoothing. It actually feels really nice because it feels like it actually absorbs, but that it's still smoothing. Because I feel like a lot of those, like sometimes they sit on top of your skin, but they never actually go into the skin. And then I feel like you're left with just this layer of like it's slippering around on your face and that is not great when you have oily skin. Okay, so for my foundation, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear in 2 and 2 and the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in 5.5. So I'm just going to mix that on the back of my hand. We've got one more day of the kids being at home for the week and then off they go to school. Okay, so I'm basically just going to blend this out so far everything seems to be going on really nicely it doesn't feel like overly slippery or anything like some primers do and i feel like the moisturizers underneath didn't bunch up or get bitty or anything like that with the primer too so they all seem to work really well together nothing was feeling super like thick or too oily or anything like that so that's also good to know now we're gonna go ahead and do concealer so i'm gonna take my flex concealer and everything that i have used in this video today will be down in the description box so far everything is looking nice and smooth now i'm just gonna do my powder this is the nars light reflecting setting powder and this is just gonna help smooth out even more and fill in any pores. Okay, now I'm gonna use my white powder underneath my eyes. I just like using this because it really does brighten and kind of gives your face a little bit more shape. Okay, and now I'm just gonna set the whole face 
with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Compact. So yesterday I did a challenge using the sponge for my whole face and I used it to apply my bronzer and I loved the way it looked. It was so airbrushed, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do that again today. I don't think she wants to at the moment, buddy. Oh, why not? I think she's coloring her animals. You can feel all the fluffiness. He makes those are Christmas ornaments. It helps Santa. Well, this is actually a twiddle tail, but it's just another the cat for Halloween. I feel like you're missing an animal. What animal? I don't know. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take my blush. Again, I did this with my sponge yesterday, and it just was so pretty on the skin that I was like, oh man, I'm gonna do that again. That's beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and bake now. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and take that same palette, the hourglass one, and I'm just going to highlight with the lighter color. It is the color um, diffused light. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Senna Cosmetics highlighter under the brow bone. I'm gonna take a little bit of that as well and just kind of like pop that over on my highlight cheek area as well, just because I want it to be a little bit more. I'm gonna take my Sinopia palette from Mellow Cosmetics. I'm like literally obsessed with this palette, guys. I use it so much, as you can see, it's all a mess. This is the color Nude. These are like my staple colors. Okay, then I'm gonna take blush right here, which is kind of like got a little bit more of a rosy kind of mauve tone, and I add that kind of a little bit lower down, but still into the crease. Then I'm gonna go into this color right here, which is called Sinopia, and I'm gonna pop that down onto the lid. And I'm going to blend that up into the crease. Okay, then I'm going to brush off my brush. And I'm just going to blend all of the edges out. Do you guys have one side that always gives you trouble? Like, this is my trouble eye. Then I'm going to go into dust right here. And I'm basically just going to pop that right at the very bottom. Just to make it a little bit deeper. And again, I'm gonna wipe off my brush and then just blend that up. Now I'm gonna take the little shader brush and I'm gonna get that wet, even though my Mac Fix Plus is like almost gone. Oh, I just have to like pour some water in it. Oh God, it's like spitting on my brush. And I'm basically just going to go into Sinopia and blush and just buff that out on the bottom part. And then I'm gonna get a littler brush and I'm just going to kind of add a little bit of the nude color, the first one that we did in the crease. And I'm just going to soften out those edges. Okay, so now we have a liquid liner from DHC. This is the Liquid Eyeliner EX Perfect Pro Makeup. Now you guys know I never use liquid liners anymore. Um, just because my eyes are getting so hooded that it just ends up looking a bit mangled. Okay, this pen is actually really easy to work with. It's super skinny and the point is really, really fine. So you can really get in there quite nicely. Okay, now I'm going to take a nude liner in my waterline to make that pop. We're gonna do primer. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise or Voluminous Lash Paradise Primer. Okay, last but not least for the eyes, I'm gonna take my palette here that has the white powder and I'm gonna pop that right into the inner corner just to add a little bit of a glow because I was missing it. Just kind of lengthens the eyes a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and brush off my bake. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Victoria's Secret Lip Balm, my Lord & Berry 3045 Ultimate Lip Liner in Natural. 
and my favorite lip gloss. I'm not allowed to say anything about it yet, but I can't stop wearing it. So it'll be launching very soon. So you guys are just gonna get a little sneak peek, but I can't say what it is, but I'm obsessed, that's all I can say. And I pretty much wear it every single day of my life. I feel like when I don't wear it, I just don't feel complete. So it'll be coming soon. You guys will just have to keep your eyes out for it, but like how amazing is this color, guys? Huh, obsessed. So there is the finished look. I feel like that eyeliner actually did a really beautiful job. It was super easy to apply. I'm pretty sure this one is a little bit longer than the other one. The brush is so tiny and skinny that you can get such a long, perfect little line. There we go. I feel like the skin looks really smooth. I feel like that primer did a really good job. It doesn't feel slippery or oily at all. The, the pores do look filled, especially right in this area. So yeah, I'm actually quite impressed with that primer. I don't really wear primers a whole lot. They're not my favorite thing in the world, but I feel like this is something that I might be able to get used to. Cause I do feel like it kind of, especially in this section, I can see a huge difference as far as the pores go. So like right there and right there. So as always, I will link everything in the description box for you guys. So all of the DHC products will be linked in a separate section so that you guys know that those are all the DHC products. And then everything else that I used for this look will be also down below in a separate section saying other products used. Uh, overall, I'm really impressed with all of, the, all of these products. I think they did a beautiful job. Like I said, great for people who have sensitive skin because none of them are harsh. None of them feel stingy or burning in any way. So I'm really excited to continue using these products. Um, especially that cleansing oil and also for sure that toner, the pink one. I really, really liked that one. I mean, both of them are really nice, but I think specifically that one's for oily skin and pigmentation. So that's the one I'll be sticking with. But yes, I'm very happy. I feel like if I was going to use a liquid liner, that would be the one. I'm not going to say I'm going to start using liquid liner. I just won't because honestly, it takes so long. I can't be bothered with it anymore. Um, but if I were to, I would say that one was a really great one. I mean, it's really fine, really pigmented, goes on really well. So yes, overall, this was absolutely a win. Thumbs up for these products. If you guys haven't checked out DHC, definitely do so. That set is on sale right now, so you guys can go ahead and take advantage of that. Love you guys all so very much. I hope you guys all have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, click that notification bell so you get notified, and of course, follow me on Instagram where I always let you know when I have a new video up. Okay?